Hello, my fellow family foodie friends. It's Jackie. I am on my way to go do a Walmart grocery pickup. I have really been loving these as we are supposed to stay home and socially distance. Walmart grocery pickup has been a lifesaver. I do go into Aldi on occasion, but it's just not nearly as convenient right now. So I'm going to get the groceries. It's early Sunday morning. Actually, it's not that early. It's 10 a.m., but I haven't gotten ready for the day. I'll share with you my groceries and right afterwards share with you the dinner meal plan for the week. So stay tuned for that. Let's go. Okay, so I got some lettuce. We have salads with dinners frequently. I got cilantro for butter chicken. We're gonna have that this week. I already have butter and frozen chicken, so we're set on those items. Broccoli is for a side for the butter chicken. I finally was able to get a watermelon. They kept being out of stock at Walmart, so we have a watermelon. Um, last week I had BLTs on the list, but we ended up eating the bread that I made that I thought we'd use for BLTs with the dinner. We ate the whole loaf and then I had bacon leftover. So we never had BLTs last week. That was one of our shifted dinners. But I decided I'm gonna use the bacon instead this week to have breakfast sandwiches. That sounds better to me. So we have the bacon, we have the eggs. I got English muffins. We're gonna have hash browns with that. We just ran out of peanut butter. We go through peanut butter here. Um, I want to make two ingredient bagels. So we're gonna use Greek yogurt and flour. And then I'm gonna put everything but the bagel seasoning. Um, a bagel has sounded good if I'm not going to have dinner until later and I want to open with like a hearty snack, open my fast, my eating window during fasting. Um, for some reason a bagel has just been sounding good. So I'm going to make two ingredient bagels. I've never done that. Um, I'd be interested in the comments to know if you've made them before. We are out of heavy cream, which we need if I make um, any fancy coffee at home or for the butter chicken I need it. So I got that. Diced tomatoes is also for the butter chicken. My mom had shared with me that she made air fryer garbanzo beans, and that sounded good to me. My girls and I really love garbanzo beans, so I got some cans. I didn't have any, but she just um, put a little bit of oil, seasoned them um, with everything, with the bagel seasoning, and put them in the air fryer. So that sounded good, so we're going to give that a whirl. Um, probably at least a month ago, maybe two, at Costco I bought four Hebrew National packs of hot dogs. We've only used one of them, so... Um, or maybe we've used two, but we're going to use another one this week. I have waffle fries left over from last week's grocery haul. And so we're going to have waffle fries, um, sweet corn, and hot dogs. And actually mentioning the sweet corn reminds me, we have a local thing. I think it's offered nationwide where you can go get food from the school for your kids. And our school has really encouraged that even families without a financial need do it. They like to have participation in high numbers. Um, so we have done it once every couple weeks we go. And they gave us so many fruits and vegetables. We got a three-pound bag of pears, of apples, of oranges. And we also received um, zucchini, squash, cucumbers, tomatoes, corn, so sweet corn that I'm going to grill, we receive from the school. So if you've seen that we have less produce than um, we normally buy, it's because the school keeps giving us a ton of it, which we totally appreciate. And I would much rather participate, take it, and eat it, because, you know, we can't, that kind of stuff is perishable. And if they don't use it, it I, I don't know what they do with it, but we're happy to use it. And it's a great benefit to our community. Um try to find a picture of like what we've received, but it's really, really nice. Um, I feel like it's stepped up a lot this year because of the uh, stay at home orders and kids not being at school for a long time. They really are providing a lot to students and it's per, it's based on the school district. So it's not based on just financial needs. So they are hoping and lots of families do participate. So it's a really nice program, but it really has helped my grocery hauls. I thought of that last week when I was editing my video that I really should share what the school district is providing for students. My husband asked for more mouthwash um, and hairspray. So those are for him. I, um, this is the dish soap I use for when I hand wash dishes. I was just running out and another laundry detergent. And so this is what $49, um, gets us at Walmart, $49 and change. And then again, I have frozen chicken. I have bacon left over from last week. We already have the hot dogs and some of our meals, which you'll see here in a moment, crossed over from last week's. 
So I didn't plan on actually having an Aldi haul this week. But, um, I was out of one cheese. We ran out of it before I made quesadillas. And I went in to Red Sticker Heaven. So you guys know, this is how I stock my freezer with breads for when I have spaghetti or make pizzas or whatever. I got these four bags of garlic mash, which are really yummy, savory garlic for 89 cents a piece instead of 2.89. So these will be going in the freezer. I got these for 99 cents. Um, garlic bread loaves, again, going in the freezer. The cheese is the only reason I went to make quesadillas. We ended up using the last of our cheese and I didn't realize we were so low. We only have mozzarella left, which really isn't a quesadilla cheese. So I went just to get those two. And then my son saw these and asked me to get those as well. And the naan was $2 off, so it was only $1.99 instead of $3.99 for those. So I ended up hitting the Red Sticker Bread Jackpot. Um, this I bought, I'm visiting my mom and her and I both like this, so that was last minute add-on. And then Kel also saw these and said, Mom, this is what I've been trying to explain to you. And he was trying to tell us about a snack he wanted, so we got these basically, the Aldi version of Nutter Butters. And the grand total this week was $18.03 for all of this. I got, let's see, nine things of bread popcorn, cheeses, and these for $18.03. And then yesterday I actually went to Aldi as well and got just a thing of water and ice cream. I'll pop a picture up. I didn't actually film it, but I put it on Instagram. Um, my husband asked me while I was picking up dinner to pick up some ice cream for him and I saw that water, so I got that for me. But added a little bit more to my list. But this is how a lot of times my grocery hauls are smaller. If I find meat or breads, on clearance, I buy them and I freeze them. So this kind of stuff really stocks me and helps me keep my grocery prices low. And then there's that Panera Bread coffee that I told you guys I'm obsessed with for fasting. And now we will get into the meal plan for the week. Okay, so we're gonna breakfast sandwiches. Again, the bacon we already have from last week, leftover from the BLTs that we ended up not making. I'm gonna make hash browns. Um, I already have eggs. We have cheddar cheese. I'm gonna make a vegetable stir fry. I have everything in my pantry or freezer that's, again, kind of a shuffled meal from last week. Chicken and dumplings. I have so much frozen chicken still. And then I already have, I, this is on the meal plan for last week, so we have everything. Again, it's a Cracker Barrel recipe that I follow. And my in-laws gave us a bunch of green beans from their garden. I'm gonna make it with that. Butter chicken, broccoli rice. I already had the rice. You guys saw the broccoli and the ingredients to make the butter chicken sauce. Again, I have frozen chicken, hot dogs, and waffle fries. The waffle fries are left over from um, last week. And then I'm not even planning a sixth dinner because we have been planning seven meals and then we go out to eat or something comes up or we're invited to my in-laws. I forgot we had a wedding last week just different things. We don't end up having seven meals home. So I just left that blank this week and then leftovers because when I'm fasting, I'm not eating leftovers during the day anymore. And that just means that we have some extra food. So I want to make sure we have a leftover meal every, every week where we can kind of clean up this food. So that is our meal plan for the week. Breakfast sandwiches are one of my favorite dinners to make. They're just comforting they're yummy and here is a ten dollar dinner where i share with you how i make an entire dinner for a family of five for less than ten dollars and breakfast sandwiches are the star thank you so much for watching another grocery haul hope you have a great week chow down and chow